Get the Dish is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Hey guys, so Kirby Johnson is back and we're going to show you some more easy college dorm room food hacks. Yes, I'm so excited about this. So last time we made bacon and eggs, a cold ramen salad, and a cheesy panini. Yeah, and those are great, but I have a little rumbly in my tumbly. <laughs> So what are we making today? Okay, so last time we used a coffee maker and iron. This time we're using a waffle maker. Okay, this is totally Susie Homemaker of you and I would expect nothing less from the Brandy Malloy. Mm. However, I definitely didn't have a waffle maker in college. What, you didn't? No, I it just- was, uh, It was totally on the supply list. <laughs> Check out what's in the fridge. Okay. Because we are going to make. <laughs> I have a surprise. Cheeseburgers. <gasps> yes. Like real delicious cheeseburgers. So I already have my waffle maker. It's on. So I have some ground sirloin. I already seasoned it up. I'm just going to put it directly into the center of the waffle iron. Okay. And close the lid. And then how long do you keep it? It depends on. I mean, I like my burger like a medium plus. Yeah. So I'm me just too. gonna check it out. So while you're doing this, I like to fix my burger. So if you okay. want to start doing that. Yep. You know what? This is actually just like a George Foreman. Except. But you can make so many other things with it. You can. And here's the thing about the George Foreman. I love the George Foreman, me but too. most of the time the George Foreman's a little too big. Like yep. I have like that large one. This is the perfect size, and it's a waffle maker, so you can make waffles. You can make paninis on it. Hash browns, you literally can do anything. And what I love about this is I can make burgers for my entire hall in my dorm room. I have a feeling that in college, your room was the party dorm room. And you probably got no studying done, unlike myself. Right, right, you were an angel. Okay, it's starting to smell delicious. Oh my God, just check that out. Yeah, that looks so good. Okay, so we're gonna keep going. The aroma, that aroma is enough to bring every boy to the yard. <laughs> Every single one of them. What I love about using a waffle iron is that unlike a grill, you're getting heat from the top and bottom. So I don't need to flip this baby. I just need to stare at it and let it work its magic. We'll put this down. Lovely. Look Gooey. how big the surface area is. I actually could have made four little sliders on this, yeah. but I just want to make you one. You ready for the pepper jack? Oh, I am. A little spicy. Oh my gosh. And you know, you can do this and just hover it and let that heat really hit it from the top. And that's good, so you don't get the cheese stuck to the top. That's smart. Oh my smart. gosh. Forget the grill master title. I am the waffle iron master. <laughs> burr, burr, burr. Iron chef over here. You know what else you can do? This is awesome. I know you already put the topping on there, but if yeah. you wanted, you could toast the buns inside the waffle iron. You're just blowing my mind. I mean, you said okay, you are you ready for to. this? Yes. Okay. Woohoo! Girl. How cute is that? <laughs> It's so little and cute. Oh my god! This is the perfect size. Burger! Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh my gosh. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Food. Over there. And let me know in the comment box below what you make with your waffle maker. I would love to know. And be sure to follow us on Pop Sugar Food on Instagram and Twitter. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.